What's good, y'all? This is Sneak coming at y'all with another vlog. Today's topic will be about mental health disorders. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all doing, doing really good and having a blessed day out there. And I'm going to be interviewing some people that I think that they can share their best experiences and stories about mental health disorders. Here we go. The first person I'll be interviewing is my lovely, lovely girlfriend, Lady Sneed. That's what I call her. Her real name is Daisy Jones. And here we go. First question, what are some ways that will help you through anxiety slash depression? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, I believe some things that I go through and some ways that help me are probably sit in silence sometimes you know you always need time to yourself like you know it's it's hard you know with all these this negative this negative energy that this world brings us sometimes and you know time to yourself is really key and but don't always be too lonely you know always speak to somebody every once in a while you know if you're comfortable enough with your situation and your anxiety you know it's always good to talk to somebody especially somebody that understands and brings you positive vibes because that's like the main thing you just need to stay positive and you know get in your feelings get in your thoughts can really increase your anxiety and depression so just try and try and try to be positive try and be positive people what are some challenges you have faced while going through anxiety? Some challenges I face going through anxiety is probably when I, you know, when I'm around people. Sometimes, like, I get very, very anxious, and I, I, I don't, I don't speak usually because I, I have so many thoughts and so many things going through my head, and it's hard for me to like speak out sometimes. So I kind of like. I'm always I'm always kind of like a little bit of a loner because I just sometimes I just don't know how to talk to people and I think another challenge has been like going to work um usually I have anxiety attacks like in my car like right before I start work and I just always fear for the worst and it's really hard for me to kind of like get out of that usually I, that, that's why I always go to work like super early I wait in my car like maybe 30 minutes before because I need to get my thoughts together for the rest of the day so I can have a positive attitude and try to get through it so I can just come back home and you know just relax how can you help others having OCD ADD or even schizophrenia hmm well I don't really know too much about ADD or schizophrenia or anyone that really experiences or goes through that, but OCD, I can probably relate to that because I feel like I can, I probably have OCD at some points. Um, I'm always clean, I'm always organized, but where the issue comes is probably when my boyfriend tries to like do the laundry or try to wash his dishes, like, if I don't like it done, if it's not a certain way, then I have to like do it all over again. I have to organize it myself like it's really hard for you know people to try to come in my space and like move stuff around or like do all that because then I get like all OCD and I have to clean I have to clean the house I have to clean the car I have to clean everything so the people with the OCD um I think it's a good thing because you know you're always clean you're always good but try not to take it out on others I know it can be bothersome when some people move your stuff and you don't like it the way it is you know there's nothing wrong with that but take a chill pill you'll be good <laughs> when did you first experience your mental illness mm, I don't think I can pinpoint probably when I first had my experience with anxiety and depression but I know one major time in my life that I probably won't ever forget and it changed my life in negative and positive ways, but here we go. Um, <laughs> it was probably when I was dating my ex-boyfriend. Um, at this point, we had been dating for probably two years and um, he was my first for a lot of things and I was his first for a lot of things so that built that built like a special bond between me and him and 
it was also kind of hard because, you know, he was a year older than me and we started talking in high school. I was in 10th grade and he was in 11th grade and so on and so forth. And once he graduated and left high school, you know, I was still there as a senior. Um, and that's where issues started to happen when, you know, he kind of just wanted to experience that college life, you know, that adult life. I was still in high school, which I understood, you know, we were going through some like, you know, rough, ro rocky patches and stuff like that. But um, when I finally got out of high school, you know, I thought everything was going to be fine. Everything was good. But <laughs> one day he just pretty much told me that he wanted to experience life and he wanted to see other people and we had been dating at three years at this point and I socked him in the face I did because he just I was so dependent on him like we were together like all the time like this and the fact that he just wanted out of nowhere just wanted to straight up and leave it just it really broke my heart and you know a lot of my life revolved around him but it just it, it kind of made me go crazy because after that I was alone and nobody understood what I was going through like I had severe panic attacks I you know self-harmed it was just an awful point in my life so but now years later I think I'm at the love of my life already so good things are just gonna be going up from here you know don't ever put yourself in a dark place I never wish on anybody in the world it's the most awful feeling and especially to give your all to somebody that you thought loved you like <laughs> that's just weak I'm sorry it's just it's it sucks but today it's making me stronger bit by bit time by time you know it's that's about it so that's why I got this tattoo you know semicolon project if you don't know what that is look it up and it should help you help me a little bit and I hope I inspire some of you guys to you know keep pushing forward what are your final thoughts on mental health disorders mm, my final thoughts probably is just to keep going keep pushing through it because this this stuff is serious you know it's not a joke it's not for attention like people really go through this and you're really not alone and just if you keep fighting and you keep waking up every single morning you know and just try to be positive every day that's just one step closer to just becoming just a better person a better self you don't want to be in that dark place you know just always be positive talk to somebody take time for yourself like you got this just keep going What's up, y'all? I just want to throw my conclusion in there. So my conclusion to mental health disorders, I think that you guys should get help, seek help, take time to yourself. As Lady Snee said, take time to yourself and relapse on life and your thoughts because when you get in your thoughts, it can bring you to a real, real dark place. And when you get to that dark place, all the thoughts just hit your mind all at once and smash down on you. But I'm here to tell you, Go find that one light in your life, even if it's something that you love doing or passionate about, go do it because that's going to not let you get in your mental. And because once you get in your mental, like I said before, it's going to bring you down and then you're going to think negative about the world, yourself, other people. You're not going to be want to be around people. So I think you guys should do with your mental health disorders. Don't be don't be ashamed to have them. I have one. I have ADD. I know I do. I didn't have it before, but I, I gained it over the years. And I get in my thoughts and I bring myself down. And um, I have people around me to, to make me have a positive mindset and a positive outlook on life and what I'm going through. And they tell me the same thing. Um, take time to yourself, breathe, um, don't talk down to yourself. Always stay positive, always stay positive, no matter what the situation may be. It's, my, it's gonna be hard, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be easy, but if you're if you train your brain to think positive all the time then you'll always attract positive things in your life you know what i'm saying so thank you for this video that is part two i mean part one i'm sorry part one of this video and stay tuned to part two i have a really good friend of mine that i really want y'all to hear this story